Welcome to Worthington Home. I'm Chris. I just had a little break in my day and I was about to go out and get some coffee, but I think in addition, I may head over to a Goodwill and see if there's anything worth picking up. Let's check it out. Here we go. I love getting my first look around the store. Here's a pretty Van Gogh print of irises. That would look beautiful in a frame. This is such an unusual piece of wall art. I can't imagine how it would look when it's installed on somebody's wall. It's very big. And this has to be the world's largest wooden beer stein. I really like this lamp. Definitely don't like the shade. <laughs> I'm just checking out all of the shelves. This bowl is really interesting and marked. This is a cute piece with a, is that a parrot or a cockatoo? But unfortunately it's damaged. This is a pretty anniversary pitcher, but I can't imagine there's much market for this. This little basket is so cute, but Goodwill puts their stickers right over the maker. This reminds me of my brother and his girlfriend. They have Oktoberfest events each year. This little double-handled soup bowl is adorable and it's spode. I think it's very old. This planter is interesting, but the color is a little bit odd and I don't want to pay $5 for it interested with this basket as well but it's not really very well made cute little picture interesting Dutch shoe it's signed by somebody I really like this covered vegetable dish or serving dish this is really nice too Oh, cute little pink bunnies that are not worth $4. It's a nice plate. Lately, more and more, I'm drawn to floral patterns, which isn't something that used to be my thing. This one's pretty too. And another floral pattern. Those are really cute as well. They're just little um, saucers though. And these are also just small plates and saucers, although I wish I had looked at that tray a little more carefully. This is really pretty, but without it being a color, I don't think I would bother trying to resell it. Excuse the panting, my dog is with me. It's a pretty green bowl, but it doesn't look particularly old to me. This one is definitely more interesting. I like the little bubble patterns in it. Ooh, this looks like luster and it's marked. This plate cake stand is so heavy. Oh, cute little quail pitcher. I like this plate. This is a really nice set. There's quite a few pieces here. I like this as well. Are those cherry blossoms? Yes. This is a great brass tray, but there's so much pitting. Do you see it? I don't think there's anything I could do to bring that back. I like this bowl. It reminds me of a George Briard piece a little bit. They always have lots of pretty glassware. I think this is my favorite aisle. I always check out the lamps, although I never have bought um, one of these little table lamps at Goodwill before. There's nothing here today that's really drawing my eye. 
They always have lots of books. It's a lot of cookbooks and like nutrition related books in this section. This one is interesting. All right, we're gonna head home and I'm gonna show you what I picked up. Well, I filled my cart at Goodwill and I got to the checkout line and we started ringing everything up and I asked if they had any boxes or bags that I could buy or they could give me and they had nothing. So I just put everything back in the cart. I wheeled it to the car and I tried to just put things in like reusable grocery bags so they wouldn't break. It was a bit of a scene. Note to self, next time I go thrifting, I better bring some bags and boxes just in case I need them. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I got this plate, it's pottery, and it says kaleidoscope pottery on the back. It has this great sort of twiggy looking pattern all around the perimeter. So I'm looking forward to finding out more about that. I bought four dinner plates eternal harvest oops they're in excellent condition so i bought four dinner plates four salad plates four teacups and four saucers they had some other bits and pieces um, from the same pattern but i thought a service of four was good you know China doesn't tend to sell all that well, so I didn't want to get too deeply invested, but I thought that the pattern was just so pretty. And they're in such great condition. So I couldn't pass them up, I had to bring those home. I found this crinkle milk glass little pedestal, the bowl, and it is also in very good condition. So I decided to pick that up and it does have writing on the bottom, although I doubt very much that you will be able to read it. But it says Brody Co. Cleveland and, no, Cle Cleveland of USA. And then there's like a serial number. I picked up this little bud vase. It's ceramic and has this great glaze on it. It's unmarked but I thought it was a really pretty piece and I thought it would look beautiful just about anywhere you placed it. I bought this vintage Pyrex bowl in this excellent peachy color. The very bottom is clear and it's marked on the bottom. I thought the color on this was really interesting. And what's next? I bought this mid-century modern vase, this crinkle glass. This was made by Brody and it's in really good condition. There's writing on the bottom. I bought this fantastic dish. I'm not sure if it's depression glass or not. And it has this wonderful ornate gold rim and it's in really good condition. It actually looks damaged, but it's not. It has a little bit of paint stuck to it. So I just need to scrape that off. And I think this would be a great addition to somebody's collection. I bought this wonderful Federal Depression glass. I'm not sure exactly what you call the color. It's very yellow. I'm not sure if it's considered to be amber, um, but it's very cheerful. It's in this wonderful spoke design been seeing quite a bit of this around and I just think it is so lovely. It's not going to be terribly valuable, but at the same time, it's hard to leave it at Goodwill. I love this piece. It's tiny, but packs a mighty punch. It's a double handed handled soup bowl. It's spode made in England and it's a wicker rose pattern. It's in great condition. I wish it had some other things that went with it. I wish I had a saucer for it or something. Um, and it has a little repair in the handle that occurred at some point, but I'm hoping somebody has this set and could use a replacement piece. I bought a set of four of these amber footed glasses in really nice condition. They had a lot of them at Goodwill. I only picked up four. Um, 
but I thought they were really pretty and had some nice details to them. So I'm hoping that somebody will want to snatch them up. I bought four Fire King vintage custard cups in uh, their luster. They're not marked. Oh, nope, they are marked. It says Fire King made in USA. Yeah, and something else I can't tell you. But anyway, they're this pretty peach color and have that beautiful shine. I think they're lovely. I wish I could have found some more pieces to go with it, but this was all I could see. And very similarly, I'm just gonna reach over. I bought this ashtray in a very similar kind of peach luster color. It's not signed. I don't know that it's Fire King. I don't know that they made um, ashtrays at all. And it's been pretty well used, but I just love the color. So I had to pick it up. Here are two more little custard cups. And I looked them up. They are vintage Dinaware Pyro Ray Milk Glass and Daisy Brown Flower. Very cute. Again, just two little, two little orphans. No other pieces to go with them, unfortunately. I bought four decorative plates. They each have a little fruit pattern on them. They're all a little bit different. I have like nowhere to put things right now. They're called Orchard and they're made by E&R in Germany. And they have really pretty colors on them and this nice golden rim that's very pretty. So I thought these would make a nice collection. Whenever I go to Goodwill, no matter how careful I try to be, I always manage to come home with what I consider to be some sad friends. That is pieces that have some kind of damage. And every time um, it happens, I say I'm gonna be so much more careful next time. And then it happens again. In fairness to myself, sometimes little imperfections are hidden by like price tags or the way the pieces are wrapped together. Sometimes they use like saran wrap and stuff to wrap things. That's what happened with this Pyrex refrigerator um, dish. Now I knew it was in rough shape anyway. You can see the paint is far from perfect on this piece, but it has its lid and I was really excited um, to have this, but when I opened it and got it out of the saran wrap, I saw that it has a chip here. And once I got it cleaned up, I realized that the paint on it was worse than I even thought originally. So the bad news is I'm not selling this piece. The good news is I'll be really happy to have it and I will definitely use it. I only have one other Pyrex dish like this and the one that I have is much smaller. So this will get used very well in my own home. So not a total loss. And the other piece that was disappointing, oh, was this adorable glass turtle planter. So cute. Or I guess candlestick holder. You could, I guess you would do a candlestick holder, not a planter. I don't know what I'm talking about. He's so cute. But again, when I got the plastic wrapping off him, he has this little chip right on top. And that is a shame. I mean, it's smooth. It's not going to like hurt anybody and you could still completely use it, but for reselling purposes, not a good situation. I absolutely love this little German Stein. I think it's a wine pitcher. It has great colors and some German writing on it. It's in excellent condition. It has some kind of a stamping like numbers in the bottom um, and that's all, but I don't know, I thought it was just a really great, very interesting and unique piece. I found this little USA glass bake divided bowl in really good condition. I'm assuming it would have had some kind of cover. There certainly isn't one now, but it still has a lot of charm. I love the pattern on the bottom of it. So I thought this was a nice piece to take home. 
I picked up two books. This book, Bronte, is about Branwell Bronte. And this is just for me to read. Nothing fancy. I do know the books were $2.99. And I bought this really pretty book, Jane Eyre. It is um, Illustrated Junior Library. It's a really, really beautiful book. It's in excellent condition. And these seem to sell reasonably well on eBay, not for a lot of money, but I thought this would be lovely. If I had received this book when I was younger, I would have loved it for sure. I also ended up accidentally with this picture of dahlias. I'm gonna put them on a slant so you don't have a glare. I actually had this in my cart and I was going to pick it up and then I decided not to and I asked the woman to just put it back for me. I gave it to her and she put it on the counter and I didn't realize it had made its way back into my cart. So she must have put it on the other side of the counter where she was putting all the things I had paid for. So this technically was free. I didn't mean to be a goodwill thief, um, but it is pretty. Um, this one still has its price tag on it, it was $3.99, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't really pay for it. Okay, my weirdest find of the day, there's, there's always a weirdest find of the day, was this. I didn't know what the heck this was. It wasn't marked in any way. So I went to my trusty source, eBay, to see what it was. Mm -hmm. And it is a Moroccan cooking tagine terracotta cook pot. Oof, it's a mouthful. It's extremely heavy. Here's the lid. And here's the base. And this is gonna be very interesting to ship. Maybe, maybe should have given that a second thought. <laughs> Rookie errors. On to my favorite finds of the day. It is a tie between this excellent bag and oops, this excellent bag. They're both Dooney and Bork. They are in excellent condition. I love the colors. They're both very clean inside. And I think they're absolutely great pieces. This one has a little bit of ripping in the lining, but it's not even really ripping. It's just some of like the thread has come loose. I don't know if you can sort of see some of the loose thread, but it's still in really good condition overall. And I am gonna struggle mightily to list these because I wanna keep them both. Aren't they good? I thought I had shown you everything, but I forgot something. I picked up this lovely lidded serving bowl. And it is Czechoslovakian. And it says celebrate on the bottom. And I thought it was just absolutely lovely. It has this great flower detail all around. It's in wonderful condition. And I thought it just was so elegant. I did a little place setting just for three to give you a sense of how pretty the plates are. I used my own chargers and utensils, but other than that, you can see how pretty they are. And the glasses and the vase. I just put some fake flowers that I had around in there. And we're ready for dinner. Okay, and here we are, ready for our dessert course. We're gonna imagine there's some kind of pudding or custard or mousse in the bowl. And we have the little custard plates. We have a new vase because why not? And the teacups are out, which I'm going to imagine being filled with coffee because I am not a tea drinker. But I think that looks absolutely lovely. And here is my last little variation. I used these pretty orchard plates as dessert plates. If you're having some pie or some cookies or some cake, you could put your desserts out on these pretty plates and platters and you're good to go. Look how pretty that would be. 
So, you know, my point in all of this, of course, is that these are all really lovely, special, unique pieces that can absolutely be incorporated into your everyday design. I thought I'd show you how cute this little grouping looks together. Beautiful covered platter. The teacup that I put on top of the ashtray for a little height. And my contraband Dahlia picture. Here's the last little grouping. The sweet little turtle, the pottery vase, and the pottery plate all together on this wooden tray. They look really nice together. And here we have the really pretty German Stein that I just put some fake plants in and popped to some of my blue and white pieces. I'm not sure if you remember or if you saw it, but a few weeks ago I did um, a pick um, and I came home with a bunch of different antique and vintage items including these excellent depression glass pieces, a little creamer and sugar bowl. And I was curious to find out if they had uranium in them because they looked like they might. And in fact, in the viewer comments, I had a few comments that said, I bet those are uranium glass. So in order to find out, I ordered a black flashlight on Amazon and it came in and I wanna show you what happened. All right, let's see what happens. And it glows. That means it is uranium glass because it glows under UV light. And I'm so excited to have these pieces. They contain just very small levels of uranium, so it's perfectly safe to have them around and they're very collectible. So originally my plan was to sell these pieces, but I think we're gonna hold on to them for a while because the whole black light thing is just too interesting to not have some uranium glass in our possession for at least a while. I've been really busy researching some of my recent acquisitions, finding out the prices and listing them on eBay so I can get ready for my next online auction. So I'm gonna give you a little preview of what I have gathered so far. Here is everything. So my second Worthington Wednesday online sale on eBay is gonna be March 6th, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and everything will be a seven-day auction. And I have to say, looking at this group, everything's up in the attic, just on shelves, waiting to be sold or to wait a little longer to be sold. These are things that are really hard to part with. Um, there were some things I absolutely loved, but I'm really working hard to make sure I focus on selling and not just keeping everything because I don't want to become a crazy hoarder. So I'm letting go of this brass tray and the beautiful textured mug and the wooden shelves and that beautiful big brass candlestick. It was a tough one, but I hope that's a sign that I'm picking up things that people will like. I want to sincerely thank so many of you who've been watching these vlogs and who have taken the time to subscribe which is so helpful to my channel. And I love reading your comments. And one viewer recently asked me if I would provide a little bit more information about the pets and show us some close-up shots of them. So I wanted to honor that request. So this is Wilson. He was my husband's dog before we got married. He's a Rhodesian Ridgeback Pitbull mix. He's around 10 years old. We don't know for sure because he was a rescue. And if he seems a little standoffish, it's because my husband is working on our stair project and he's making a lot of noise and Wilson does not like it. This is Licorice. She was my dog before Eric and I met. And again, she's around 10 years old. She was a rescue dog, so I don't know for absolute sure. But as you can see, she's a little black lab mix. And you always know where she is because she's always right by my side every chance she gets.
This is Iris. She's a Maine Coon cat and about seven months old. She's completely deaf, but you would never know it because it doesn't slow her down at all. And right now she is in front of the door because she wants to play the mirror door game, which she could do all day long. It's her favorite thing. She's adorable and getting much less destructive, fortunately. This is Indy, also a Maine Coon cat, seven months old. Indy and Iris are part of the same litter, so we got them at the same time. And he's a lot more mellow than Iris, and uh, he's very cute and a lot of fun and enjoying looking out the window. So I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of a cliffhanger. This is Thrifted in Plainville, part one and there's going to be a part two. I'm not gonna tell you why. I'm gonna keep you in suspense, but there will be a part two coming out in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe if you liked this video. If you have any comments for me, please take a moment and send them my way. I love to read them, as I said before. And wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great day.